Thank you, House Chair. The ACDP joins other speakers in expressing deep concerns about Stat South Africa and the impact of the 2022 census data. Now, it is very important that we all speak about the local government equitable share and the provincial government equitable share. But what did National Treasury have to say about the data that it had to rely on? It says in the medium-term budget policy statement, the phased release of the 2022 census data has delayed the availability of information needed to update the provincial equitable share and local government equitable share formulas for the 2025-26 financial year. So how is Parliament, how are we going to consider the budget next year when the National Treasury is already saying that data is unreliable? National Treasury says this delay affects the release of income and expenditure data essential to update pov poverty measurements in both formulas. Both formulas Listen to this. Both formulas still use data from when? 2010, 2011. This is disgraceful. This is disgraceful. The biggest impact, National Treasury says, of this delay is on the local government equitable share, which relies heavily on this data. And this, fellow honourable members, indicates the severity of the situation when one cannot rely on the data by given by the 2022 census. The question is how could we evaluate the Division of Revenue of Amendment Bill and how are we going to evaluate next year's Division of Revenue as well as the budget when that data is not reliable? I leave that question for us to consider going forward. But clearly, far more needs to be done to improve Stats Honourable South Member, Africa. Your time is expired. You.